Hey everybody, how's it going? Alrighty, let's uh, get started. Let's see. Let's double check this. Uh, beep, 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 beep. Okay, and we are ready to go. Oh, I started a super flat survival. Lots of fun, by the way, in case anybody was wondering. Um, started doing some stuff. It's it's difficult. I would actually say it's harder. Um, it's harder than hardcore, just because they are so many slimes everywhere. I have yet to die, but, uh, yeah. Um, so we need that sheep farm to be running. So my idea is we're going to re-terraform Chungus Island. Um, and fix that because it's closer to the farm. So that's the idea. Um, that's the idea, chap. Uh, can I get down? How do I get down? Down, 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 down. So what we need to do... Hey. Is we need to cut Chungus Island down. Um... Dang, I should have left those. We're going to just put them back over here. Um, what I do need is... Well... Yeah, we're going to grab some shears while we're at it. Um, let's see. Colored dye. We'll put this in there. Um, do I have a enchanted set of shears? Or no. Don't think so. So, we're just going to make... Three sets of shears. Just like that, like that, like that there. And then that. Boom, 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 boom. Right, like so. That's the idea. That's the idea, chap. Um, top up on the stick. Um, uh, the bone meal. Uh, is that yeah we'll go with that um, I have a new idea for Chungus Island so spruce trees a giant spruce tree should be round definitely round guess what our our tree is not round so we are going to re-terraform it so that we can have something inside it. And we're going to grab all the leaves we can so that we can use those. Boom, boom, boom. I forget how big these trees get. this here and guys up to in uh what are you guys doing today anything anybody do anything exciting or noteworthy anything anything to note um oh geez these shears are not going to last long at all 
are they? Um, yep. We will just gather up as much as we can and go from there. All right, now let's kind of level this whole area off here real quick. Oh, I think we may have finally found uh, found a car for us. Um, there's actually two that I got in mind. So I'm actually pretty excited about that. Um, I just got to get them for the right price. And uh, and we can go with that. So it's, uh, it's exciting. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about that. That'll be, uh... That'll be fun. Uh... Boop -a -doop -a -boop -a -boop. And... Take these ones as well. Now, if we take this down, then we should be able to and get all of this. Oh, if C. White ends up showing up today, probably won't, but uh, it's his birthday. I'm going to have to wish him a happy birthday today. you start cutting them down like this and you realize holy crap there is a ton of leaves on just these couple of trees. Okay. Whoops. Now let's sleep right there. And let's start farming the logs. So Chungus Island was actually named by uh, Grant de Goober. He, uh, He's the one that picked the name for the island, and we started terraforming it, because it was just like a little itty-bitty island. And I was like, man, we should really turn that into something. He came up with a name. We decided we were going to put a giant tree on it. We kind of, because this was going to be like where we farmed spruce, like farmed wood. But it ended up kind of just kind of turning into a giant area. So now we're like farming the last of the wood. And then now what we're going to do is be building an area over it. Um, do, do, do. this little guy right here. Around and around we go. Okay.
All right, now. quite a bit of leaves. I'm worried that it's not going to be enough to, like, fully design this. So... So what I'm thinking is we come through here, we grab up all of these leaves uh, that we can find, And then we go back down and do, 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 do. And then we're gonna make I kinda wanna make an enchanted like unbreaking Ah I kinda wanna make unbreaking three shears real quick. Um I'm pretty sure I have an unbreaking three book. Maybe we will do that really quick, just for convenience sake. Ah! I'm gonna just run right off the edge. Because I don't have, I got the hoe. Grab the shears. We need the lapis lazuli. Might as well just take that up there with us. Uh, then we come out here. And we come across. We do need to fix this island here at some point. We do have some nether projects that we need to work on. Um, but I need that area to be loaded. Breaking three. Pretty sure that doesn't matter. Just need unbreaking three. That's it. Oh, actually, we could just do that on here. We're going to call them Snip. Snap. Snip, snap, snip, snap. Snip, snap, snip, snap. We'll call it snip. Nip. Snap. Jeez, can I spell? Snip, snap, snip, snap. Boom. I've got them breaking three. Now we just um, put this in there, put that in there. Now that we've got that, um, now that should last us for quite a while. Oh, you know what we need? Uh, where is a crafting table? We're gonna make... That's it? Okay, that should be enough. Now... Back down we go. Boom, 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 boom. And we'll put all of this in there and then all of the logs down here. And we'll put that in there, and then up we go. Back up. Come on. 
Grumps XD, your structure building are really impressive. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Haven't seen you around before. Thanks for stopping in. Yeah, that's Polly's castle. Give you a little, uh, give you a little preview. Um, that's Polly's castle that we're working on. That's currently like probably our largest structure. Um, this is our house we got there. Um, over there is the wolf farm. Give you a little, ah, um, can you see it? Oh yeah. That's the iron farm. That's the other farm. We got a couple of things going on here. Appreciate it. Thanks for sticking around. Um, oh, geez. I know what I need to do. Uh, Streamlabs desktop. We need to bring that down. We need to adjust some sound really quick. There we go. Now we should be all right. How's the sound on your guys' end? Sound okay? Or is it too heavy? What are you... What's your feeling? Is it sounding perfect? Freaking genius at setting everything. Everything I do is obviously just uh, absolutely perfect. Perfect. Grumps, where are you from? If you don't mind me asking. Is it late? Is it the nighttime? Daytime? We had a couple of people here uh, that it was like they're on like completely opposite time schedules. It was kind of weird. Um, but it was actually a lot of fun. Okay, let's start. 10.30 at night. Ooh, so, so you're even further ahead than me. Because it's 8.30. I'm Mountain Standard. That's awesome. So you're heading to bed soon, you night owl, or you stay up. Also, sorry if it's if I don't respond immediately. My monitor went down, so I currently have another one on the way. So I'm reading chat off of my phone that's just propped up next to my thing right here. Um, being an insomniac pays off. There you go. Yeah. See, you gotta come and hang out with us. What, what's what's better than that? Yeah, usually there's uh, some other people here, but I think they're a little busy. One of them, it's his birthday today, so I'm not surprised if he doesn't show up today. So, but no hard feelings. We don't hold it against him. <laughs> yeah, we don't. Uh, generally, I go until about 10:30, and then I need to get to bed. Because with little kiddos and everything, you just end up staying up. I don't get sleep and the wife doesn't get sleep and it's no fun. So yeah, we generally try to be in bed by 10.30, so. Yeah, it's C. White. If he happens up popping in, he can say, he can say, uh, happy birthday. I don't even know how old he's going to be. 25? Maybe? No, He's not 25. I mean, he totally could be. <laughs> and I could totally be just way off. Uh, okay. Now time for Zilly. Nope. Can't reach. Back this way. Hopefully we'll get most of these leaves out of the middle here. This should be the last layer with the leaves like this. No, there's still some below us. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Grumps, do you, uh, I assume you play Minecraft, you play hardcore. Are you one of the cool kids? Um... Oh, a uh, frickin' course. Why not? Let's just have it start raining. I hate the rain. Rain is my least favorite thing in Minecraft. Good thing it just 
turn nighttime. I've yet to try. It's a lot of fun. It just makes everything seem a little bit more meaningful, you know? Oops. That helps if I don't fall off. You know, because everything you do just uh, matters just a little bit more. Because that you know that it it can be the end at any point, you know. So it just makes it a little bit it makes it a little bit more fun that way. So I definitely like it. It's a lot of fun. The thing is, when you start it, <laughs> right? I am not good. I think. Like, honest, like, I'm not a good, like, combat. Like, I'm going to die of monsters. Like, I'm barely sure of this world. I'm going to die of monsters. And so this, I'm just, like, prepared for it. I know that's how I'm going to die. I'm, I've accepted my fate. But yeah, that's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Just mainly, if you are going to do it, just be prepared to die. Have fun with it. Expect it. And, uh, get a bed and a shield immediately. Bed and shield is going to be your best friend. Because the bed gets rid of the monsters, and the shield can help block things. Like, for example, I almost died in this world because I went, um... Even then they give up on me. <laughs> That's true. Then totems of undying. There you go. Um, just build a million iron golems. And then spawn it for a raid. Um, in the village. And then you'll be good to go. So yeah. But uh, yeah. That's the way to go, is uh, get a Totem of Undying as soon as you can. That'll definitely help you as well. That's that's on my to-do list. Um, I really should just do a raid, because I have the Pillagers spawn all the frickin' time. Because, like, on hard mode, it, they spawn like crazy. Oh, you mean, like, you can't find it? Is that, what, like, it's hard to find? Is that what you're referring to? Yeah, I generally don't even go caving for it anymore. I just build an iron farm. You want me to show you my iron farm real quick? I'll sh show you like how simple it is. And it pumps iron. It makes about... It probably takes... 20 minutes now. The main thing is, is setting up the zombies. Um, but it's super easy. Um, but it takes maybe 20 minutes to set up on the long end. I would say. Okay. Let's finish this layer. And then I'll run down. And I'll show you the iron farm. Because it's super easy to build. Um, and it just cranks the iron out. It makes... Jeez, how much does it make? I think... What is it? It's something like... Two stacks of iron blocks per hour. So whatever that comes out to ingots, I don't know. Um, but yeah, two stacks of iron ingots per hour. So up we go. Let's drop this off. We can pick up the iron while we're there. Oops. And then put all of this back in here. And across we go, and up. No, it's not even redstone. It's, like, seriously, it's super simple. Um, you can make a redstone part of it, but I don't even find it's necessary. So this is the iron farm. So basically, here, let me climb up to the top. It'll make it a little easier to explain it. So... 
So basically, you have these little villager pods. And in each villager pod, there's three villagers. Um, so breeding the villagers probably takes the longest. But anyways, and then there's this zombie that bobs up and down in the water. Now what happens is when he's bobbing up and down in the water, his line of his eyesight is broken between the villagers, meaning they try to sleep or they try to move and then they get scared again. So it's scaring them and not scaring them. Scaring them, not scaring them. And so that constant cycle makes it so the iron golems spawn more frequently. So it's really, really simple. Um, and so there's 12 villagers total and two zombies. Then um, the this portal structure sends them through into the, into the, what do you call it? Nether. Jeez. Sends them through to the nether, the iron golems that spawn, because all of this is spawn proof, so the only place they can spawn, they can't spawn on the ground, because you built it high enough up. Then um, you can have them all just spawn in the water, and they flow in, and it's like almost instantaneous that they disappear because they can't start requesting a new iron golem or until the old one disappears right whether it be killed or taken away out of the render distance of the village which this is considered the village where the pods are at and so yeah it's pretty sweet so basically if we jump through here um and we go down the nether and we go out to the nether i'll show you what happens um, on that side so like it's really it's not complicated um, it's really pretty simple okay whatever fine have fun dude um, yeah so it's really simple it pushes them all to the other side and the thing is this is on my spawn chunks so this is where it spawns and so I never have to worry about it so like this area here so if I were to break in. So you see how there's an iron golem right there. And then they fall into the lava because another one will come through and push this one through. So it's pretty slick. You never really have to worry about it. So. Um, and then the collection system is over here. And then you can see there's some, and there's some of that. So yeah, this is just, I think this is just last stream. See why you're here. Happy freaking birthday, dude. We're just, uh, we're just, just talking, showing off the, uh, the iron farm. Grumps was uh, curious. Yep, so, and then we put all this in here. So you can see how many poppies we have, because each one of these poppies represents um, one iron golem. So you can see, I believe this is just one one stream. So two hours worth, and it makes two and a bit stacks. So not too shabby. But yeah, so that's the idea um, of the iron farm. Pretty simple stuff. Now I can put all this back. See, why? What are you doing here on your birthday? Why aren't you out partying, having fun? Come to hang around with us. That's that. That's all you gotta do today. Ah, through the door we go. I finally got that monitor ordered. It is on its way. The Samsung 34 inch ultra wide. Pretty stoked about it. We 
it's uh it's gonna be so much better all right now now uh he wrote us a paragraph let's see this is my party had cake and ice cream with family last night today went to work started working on my finals for school it's finals week so that's exciting just got a business meeting a peach competition coming up in a week or so awesome that's uh that's good are you guys ready for that still think i own like uh probably what Let's say two and a half percent say two and a half percent of that company for sure <laughs> for giving you guys all the stuff to get you guys kicked off on that two and a half seems fair right <laughs> Now we got all that cleaned up. area out um yes I did get final word or I did get uh, did finally hear back from him. I was able to get a hold of somebody Jeez. like I'm trying to spend money here why don't you want to talk to me um, no but I finally got a hold of them um, their final out the door price is a little much um, but uh, it's definitely worth considering. Um, so with that, we're uh, we're definitely thinking about it. There was just one here that's a year older and has about the same miles for like a thousand dollars less. So I'm curious what out the door price is of the one that I just got here. So I'm gonna go check that out tomorrow. So that's the idea on that one, right? I'm like, come on, guys. I'm here. I've got cash. I'm ready to go. I'm like, let me spend my money with you. How hard is it? <laughs> Gas is cheaper up there. I paid... Five dollars the other day. Yeah, so if we can find that local one, it it looks um it looks nice. It's the same trim. It's that Dodge Durango RT. Um, so it's that same trim. The only difference is um, the one up in um, up there is. Um, Wait, sorry, what did I say that's insane? Totally lost the conversation. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that one is, oh, $5 gas, right? Um, so yeah, that one that's up here has um, captain's chairs instead of having a bench seat which we want a bench seat because it makes putting the kids in easier so it's definitely what we want is doing a bench seat I know I, I'm lagging a little bit on the delay so it's all good uh, you guys just need to type faster so yeah five dollars got with as much driving as I do because I do about three to four thousand miles a month um, it really adds up. I think I've spent almost $1,200 on gas this month. It's, uh, it's a little ridiculous. Faux show. Sure. 
yeah, it's uh, it, it's pretty brutal. So, yeah, it just sucks because it's I with doing three to four thousand miles a month, I get AMS oil, so I can go like about ten thousand miles between oil change. But that's still an oil change every three months, and the oil changes are about um, ninety dollars. Uh, yeah, no, I wish I spend. Maybe I spend more than I think I do. No, because I track it all, so it, that should be right. Um, yeah, I fill up about once every other day. Significant. I, uh, I definitely feel it when the gas prices go up. I don't know. Normally, it's not even something I think about. We finally went and got a Costco membership card, so that's exciting. Yeah, so we finally did that. We are officially members. So yeah, that was uh, that's exciting stuff. Yeah, it it definitely it, it pays for itself, and my work pays for um pays for the standard membership. So getting the premium membership where you get the cash back just makes sense because you don't even have to like pay for the whole thing anyways and yeah it just made sense. So yeah that's uh that's what we got. Way to go. Yeah, and then I can get the Costco cheap gas for cheap and and the whole thing. So Yeah, if you the thing is like all you have to do is like just buy one thing there that's like kind of expensive and then it makes it worth it, right? <laughs> okay, no more cutting leaves because that's about to die unless we go up and uh, fix it. That I almost fell in that hole. <laughs> Work was pretty chill today. Didn't, didn't, uh, I, I felt kind of productive. Um, it was a little bit harder. Um, to get a couple things done, but I was able to like nail down a couple things, see see a couple people, so it's pretty good. Um, able to get some new a new account, so that was pretty exciting. Um, anything to increase that monthly revenue, so no, it's really good. So yeah, just trying to grow it, trying to get, because uh, obviously the more sales that I have, the higher my profit and the higher my um, my pay. That's the way to go. So you just gotta keep them accounts coming. Boom. 
got her. Um, do we go up there and farm? Uh, maybe we go farm some XP real quick. Ah, I need a mending book. Uh, let's go drop this off here. Is there any stuff that's fallen? Um, out here? Oh, yeah. Now, put this in here. This is so many logs. Holy crap. Um, boom, boom, boom. Just like so. And we're going to run over there real quick. We gotta make it before it's night time. Wait, why did I run this way? I have no idea. This is definitely not faster. Oh, come on. Let me up. Up, 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 up. And sleep. that up. It's weird. Oh, mending. I need a mending book. Mending, mending, mending. Oh, yeah. Um, Grizz. This is our uh, villager trading hall. Um, by the way, in case you're wondering. Uh, production infinity silk touch. I need a book. And I need some emeralds. Mending. Mending. Beautiful. That goes in there. Put that. And back we go. Say hey, I appreciate it. We try. We do our best. We do what we can. Now we let that fill up and we put this with this. Snip snap, snip snap. Pink, pink, pink. Uh, F. And here we go. Um, okay. So, let's actually put this here. Uh, we can put all of this armor in here, and we can... Do 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 Now we can just go like so. Then we come back in here, grab the rest of the crap that we don't need. Like all these arrows, iron sword, all the rest of the arrows. We're going to leave the bows in here because they're good for dispensers. But all the rest of this, that can go in there, that goes there, that goes there. Boom. Now, the rest of this armor can come out. Then we come here, and we go, and across we go, that, 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 that. And then this, 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 this. All of 
like that. And out you go. Just like that. Now this can come in here. Um, that goes there, that goes there, that goes there. This comes here, there, there, and there. Do, 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 do. And off they go. Okay, now we can put this back there. This can go here, and let's... That's all healed up. Uh, let's get this guy while we're up here. Might as well. Um, and that one's done. Cool. Everything is healed to the max. That's what we're going for. Um, beautiful. Okay, cool. Now, right? Boom. Up we go. Um, I suppose I can get all of these while I'm out here. Look at all that junk in the water. Boom, 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 boom. So the thing that we do need to figure out is how big we want this tree to be on Chungus Island. That is the real question. Um... Right, yes, definitely not a rectangle. Um, we just need to figure out how big we want to do it. So I'm thinking like this tree is gonna be huge, but it's gonna be hollow so that we could put something in the middle if we wanted to make like a little tree house kind of a thing. <laughs> That's funny. They uh, definitely served you well. That's, uh, that's for sure. Taxpayer money well spent, for sure.
giving back, right? Yeah, more like forced. Yeah, here's the tax system. You ready? Government, I take your money before you even see it. I hold on to it, and then you have to guess how much I'm supposed to give you back. And if you get it right, then I'll give it to you. And if you're wrong, then I put you in jail. That's, yep, logical. But I don't know how much I'm supposed to be giving. I don't know how much I'm supposed to be getting back. Well, that's too bad. Well, what if I give you too much? Well, I'll just keep it. No big deal. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little ridiculous. I don't know. It's just frustrating. You know? Like, because, like, take, for example, like, this last year. I, I tell you, like, our tax refund was over 10 grand. Because they changed the way the tax system works in the middle of the freaking year, and then with all of the other stupid incentives that they had for the COVID stuff and everything along those lines, I ended up paying 10 grand extra that I didn't get throughout the year that I couldn't invest, that I couldn't use to purchase things that I needed around my house. You know, all this extra stuff. Now I can use it to get myself a new monitor and we're looking at getting my wife a new car and, and these sort of things. Yeah, but like the thing is, like I don't make that much money. You know, I do fine. But like 10 grand, are you kidding me? You're telling me I paid 10 grand extra that I couldn't have throughout the year. It's just, it's just obnoxious. You know? It's, ah, it's just, it's just annoying. There's just so many better ways of doing it. And having it work like this is just ridiculous. You know, so like I essentially paid zero dollars in taxes after all the benefits and having the kids and everything like that, you know? But yeah, being married definitely uh, definitely helps the situation. That's for sure. That's, uh, that's interesting. No way I'm making that. Um, <laughs> no way I'm making that jump. I'm not even going to try it. I know I'm not that good. I mean, whatever people want to do, uh, it's up to them, so. Okay, now. 
sometimes those type of people are the most fun to be around because they have no idea what's going on and they're very entertaining. This is a lot of leaves. I've got to head out. It was nice meeting y'all again. Happy birthday to you. I hope you have a good night. You too, Grumps. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Uh, if you want to hit the follow on your way out, I'll keep you updated on when I'm coming on next. So I'll be here Wednesday. Same time, same place. So feel free to stop in. Thanks for, uh, thanks for being here, man. Have a uh, good rest of your night. There you go. You scared me. Good job. <laughs> Rumps, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Uh, we will see y'all later. Jeez. I thought I turned it down. Every freaking time it jump scares me. I should just, like, turn it to a creeper sound, honestly. I mean, it scares me just as much. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Jeez. Well, wide awake again. Yeah, it's uh, it's loud. I told you to follow. I even told you to follow. I knew uh, that there was a possibility that it was going to be coming, and it still got me. Um, yeah, I'm. Uh, I get jump scared pretty easily. So if you're looking forward to that, um, it's a good reason to tune in. <laughs> oh goodness. Well, thanks, Grumps. Have a good night. I need to get above that, like, follower account so that I don't have, uh, have that, like, notification coming on every time somebody follows. <laughs> no. No thank you to the Resident Evil. <laughs> I, uh, I like to sleep through the night, and, uh, and being jump scared is not the funnest thing. I'm sure I'd be very entertaining at it, though. Maybe that is what I need to do. Jeez, no. No, I couldn't do it. Minecraft's my thing. Caves, I'll go, I can go caving for the same amount. And then the deep dark, when that comes, the freaking warden is gonna be chasing me. I'm gonna get jump scared because of the darkness. Uh, no. Yeah, that's gonna be, that's gonna be fun enough as is. Yeah, you can tell when I get jump scared because my mouse just goes like freaking out. Is this relaxing, chap? Just sitting here, farming away. This is a ton of wood. I didn't realize exactly how much wood was involved in this when I committed to this. Uh, clarification. It's a lot. Uh-oh. We're full. Uh, we better go take care of that. We better put this in there. Oh, crap. Are we going to run out? Back a little bit. Oh. Relax. It's 
scoot this up. We'll move this in a little bit. Ah, oh, there we go. Now we can relax. Just take it nice and easy. Bing, bing. Weird camera's good again. That's strange. Internet pop off for a minute or what happened? Oh my goodness, there is so much wood left on this. I'm gonna try the square method. Just really that's weird. Too bad I don't have a beacon. All you had to do was give it a funny look, pull out some scissors, threaten to cut the cord, and it and it and it, and it uh, fixed itself. <laughs> oh, that's so annoying. go around here then we can go now we come down and we pick up all the blocks that have fallen and up we go to sleep Isn't it that like the further away the block is, the quicker you mine it? I think that that I think it's true, but it's just ever so slightly. I don't know, maybe it'll make a difference. I'm pretty sure the farther the block is away, the quicker you mine it. Which doesn't make a whole lot of sense, honestly. Not very logical, to be honest. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just like minuscule amount. But I don't know, you could try it like on obsidian, I'm sure. Um, then it'd be easier to tell. Like so, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's a rumor. No, I'm pretty sure, like, I saw, like, skip the tutorial or something like that. Do a video about, like, you know, 47 things you didn't know about Minecraft. And, like, they're, like, did you know that a hoe breaks leaves faster or at the same speed as a shear or something like that it's like uh yeah dude um okay now up we go and around Oh, 
I wasn't crouching. Um, okay, hold on. You got you got some new information. This is due to the packets that are and canceling them sometimes. Another cool way to demonstrate this is if you go into high pixel sky block on the mines, you break a block and hold the button blocks after that fill in after it'll be broken faster. I'll be you're right. Yeah, yeah, there you go. But it's like minuscule amount, right? Like it would only make sense if you are like uh mining if you're like mining obsidian. Or something like that, where it kind of like has a long lead time, then it makes more of a difference, I think. Yeah, it's like milliseconds, I think. Efficiency 5 pickaxe breaks this at like the same speed as crouching. I can't wait for Swift Sneak. That's going to be so sick. Yeah, I don't even know what my ping is. I mean, 17 seconds, that seems pretty good. Right. Yes, but I don't know what, like, my ping is to the Twitch servers, you know. Um... Nine hundred down, nine hundred up. Jeez, I freaking wish. Ugh. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Guess what? My wife just finished reading, and we just finished watching. Yeah, I think I've got like sixty and forty as my speeds. Yes, sir. She just finished that up. That's, uh, so that's exciting. It's, uh, she finished the book. She even read part of the appendices and everything. And I was so proud of her. We were watching the extended editions, obviously. And, uh, yes, yeah, she can officially join the family. Uh, we were watching the extended editions. And she was like, when uh, Saruman died, or Sa yeah, Saruman died, um, she was like, wait, that's not how he dies in the book. Why didn't he go to the Shire? Wait, why didn't, what is wrong with it? You know? And I was like, oh, look at you. <laughs> you actually noticed. That's awesome. I'm so proud of her. I know Peter Jackson's movies are not perfect, far from it, but um, they definitely do more for the books than anything else. That is for sure. Um, let me just put this, this up here, and holy crap, this is so much, um, this is so much fun. Freaking wood, guys. This is redonkulous. Yeah, 
I'm so proud of her. She did. She's she's awesome. Yeah, I've uh, I've been meaning to re-listen to the books, um, like on my drive into work. I started it, um, but I haven't yet finished it again. So I definitely need to finish finish reading that. Let's go pick up the pieces. Oh, we're making big mess now. Oh, really? What you been listening to? Well, like, what does he talk about? Senator. Ooh, that'd be cool. That's exciting. Well, that's awesome. That'll be way cool. Definitely be interesting to pick people's brains. I always like doing that. Just hearing what everybody's got to say, because, I mean, they, like, the more you listen to people, like, they, like, the less you talk, the better. You just gotta get people comfortable talking. That's the that's the key. so much wood in this. Oh, crap, I had no idea. Okay. We're just gonna do this and take out the rest of this. We need to uh, get the rest of the pod soul going here too. Kind of just turn this whole island to podsol. The most beautiful block in the game. Nice. I always love that. And they aren't like super strict. The thing is, like, if you turn in 10 minutes past the deadline, like, come on. Like, obviously, I was working on it and getting it finished, you know? Now, if you turn it in, like, right before class, fair enough, right? Like, that's.
Oh, last layers, chat. We're so freaking close. Yeah, and the thing is, the thing that drives me crazy are teachers are like, oh, you have this very specific deadline. And then you turn it in, and then you're like, okay, well, I'm waiting on my scores, you know, to get it turned in to know how I did, right? And then they take, they say, oh, I'll get it back to you in a week. And then they take like three weeks to get it back to you. I'm like, okay, we should get extra points for every day that you're late, you know? I never understood that. I'm like, okay, if you want us to have good time management skills and things like that, then you need to as well. If you say you're going to get something done in that time frame, then you need to plan accordingly. Or offer us the same option that you do. Because this crap of me having to manage my time and all this stuff, then you need to do the same thing. Like, you need to be held to the same standard. And, uh, you know, I've brought it up to teachers. And uh, they're like, well, we're teachers and you're students. And I'm like, that's stupid. It's just, ugh, it just drives me crazy. Because I'm like, no, I am, I like, especially in college. It's like, I am literally paying to be here. So your required work that you like require me to do and stuff like that. Like, you're here to teach me, not to give me busy work. I've got enough stuff to do as is, and it's my responsibility. It's your responsibility to teach it in a manner in which I can learn it, right? And then it's my responsibility to learn it and to get it down, right? Your busy work is not helping anybody, you know? Like, you should have a purpose behind every assignment. And if you're going to waste my time in class by just having us watch a video or do some stupid little task like that, that's ridiculous. Because I have a million other things that I need to do. Not to mention classes and work. You know, I'm not just there because it's fun. And I would even call out some of my teachers. I'd be like, hey... You know, like after, like as soon as I'd go to class and it wouldn't even be anything of importance, I would just be like, hey, is this how classes are going to be? Because, like, honestly, like, this is ridiculous. Attendance, that was another thing. It's like, you're going to require me to be here. I'm literally paying my own money. You should not give me a grade on my attendance. Because if I can learn this course without ever attending your class, then why do you care? It's one less person that you have to worry about. If I never show up and I can pass your class, why do you care? You get paid the same amount. And maybe you should be doing something else. And plus, that just goes to show my ability to learn the subject. It's nothing against you, per se. But maybe it is, because maybe everything that you're teaching is completely useless, and it's better for me to just read the book anyways. I have lots of thoughts. <laughs> But that's why I'm the streamer. I can just go off on these little tangents. Um, but yeah, it just drives me crazy. Like, attendance in college is the stupidest thing I have ever heard. Like, give me a break. I am literally paying thousands of dollars to come here and listen to you. And if I don't find any value in what you are saying, and it doesn't help me learn the course, and I can pass the course without you doing it, then that's not my problem, and I should not be penalized for being smart enough to be able to learn it from the book or be able to get stuff done and turned in early. Like, I hated when they wouldn't unlock modules beforehand because they're like, oh, I haven't taught it to you yet. It's like, if I can learn how to do, like, unlock the whole class, because if I can get the whole class done and pass everything and get it all done in you know three weeks from the start of the semester and i turn in everything and i do all the stuff then that's just less work that you have to do for me you know like i just i'm i got other things that i need to do and if i'm waiting on you to unlock it until the next week what good does that do it doesn't help anybody oh we did it chat we freaking freaking did it uh, that's a lot of separate groups.
Uh, that's not what I meant to do. Bing, 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 bing. And like so. Oh, one more. Okay. So what I'm thinking is maybe we build it out on this end of the island. Do we center it on the island? Or do we make... Ooh, what if we made like a little little, little hut out in front of it? No, maybe we just center it on this island. And then we make kind of like little brush and shrubberies. I think that might be the play. So, let's see. We'll have it start. Here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So, sixteen blocks is what we need. So what we do is we come here and we go to circle generator, 75, we come to 16, and then, uh, oh geez, we need to bump this scale out. Um, yeah, I like that. So it's six, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, one, and then two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and then two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, one. One, two. How's that look? Is that a big enough tree? That's a huge freaking tree. Oh, that's awesome. I'm stoked about that. <laughs> that is going to be a freaking huge tree. Um gonna put this there put that there and then put that there and that there like so now oh, I know what we're gonna do we're gonna make like a little piston door out of the tree that'll like open up and then it will go on the inside yep that's the play so, we're going to light up the inside. We're going to make a little piston door that, like, pulls it back and then opens it up. And then we've got this, and it'll just be a massive freaking tree. Uh, that's the plan, chap. Uh, can I sleep yet? Boom. Sleep. Nice. Do, 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 do. So now what we're gonna do one, two, three, three. Are just gonna go up and up and up because if you think about a spruce tree it's just like tall and straight and then once we get to the top then we decide the leaves dang these logs are gonna go so quick 
if we cut it all down just to make just to put them back right <laughs> What else are you supposed to do, though? This is gonna be so cool. This is this is the Chungus Island that we need. This is what Chungus Island was supposed to be the whole time. Just a little sidetrack while we are waiting for wool, but still, it's gonna be awesome. Ah, oh, man, face is itchy. One, two, three, and there we go. Back at it. Back at it again with the white vans. There's a throwback. <laughs> You know the guy, the vine guy, that said, um, road work ahead, I sure hope it does. You know that guy from the vine? Apparently, I've been watching some of his videos. He's still on YouTube. His name's like Drew Gordon or something like that. Or Drew Goodson or something. Drew something. Anyways, he's got like 4 million subscribers. And, uh, he, um... He does these like reviews of products like that he gets ads for. They're so funny. He's like really entertaining. He's a very funny guy. Um, but I had like, I, I got suggested his video for something. Um, I think it was like actually that video, I got su su suggested it. And, uh, and I started watching it and I'm like, man, that guy looks really familiar. And I was like, ah, maybe I just seen him in another video or something like that. And then I got suggested another one of his videos, like looking back at my old vines. And I watch that video and I'm like, oh my heck, that's the road work ahead guy. And I'm like, I cannot believe that's the same guy. It's, uh, <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, that's cool. Are, are my trees gonna load here or no? Eventually, maybe. There we go. And I kind of like this shape of this tree too. I think this is like the right size and the right shape because it gets the flat sides that you're kind of expecting with the like square trees that are normally the giant spruce tree. But it gets just a little bit of cur Ooh, nope. I just lost a couple logs. Holy crap. We are almost out of logs. I cannot believe it. Because this tree needs to be huge. Like, I'm talking, like, Avatar tree huge. Not really. That tree is ginormous. I could not make one of those trees. Actually, you know what would be kind of cool is if you made, like, a perimeter. Like, a huge perimeter. Like, 128 chunks or something like that. You know, just something massive. And then made a giant tree in the middle of it. And kind of terraformed it. And made that into your base. Oh. Kind of like what Scar did on this season of Hermitcraft. Something similar. No! All gone. Um, I'm just going to put that there so that I can get back up.
I love how you can swim up the stream of water without without um, uh, like getting underwater. Need to get our screw back in here. Doo -doo -doo. I mean, look at how fast the stack goes. It does not take long at all. That's two, that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. So it's eleven blocks. So it's it's forty four, forty four blocks around. We'll finish up this uh, this round of blocks, and then or this this stack of blocks, and then we'll uh, go from there. We'll see what happens. We'll uh, see how tall it is, make sure it looks all right. I need your honest opinion. What's your take on the whole Chris Rock, Will Smith thing? Uh, I think that's a sucker punch from Will Smith. I think Chris Rock did the best he could with the situation. Um, I think it's stupid that Chris or that Will Smith like went up and did it because like it's so stupid because he was laughing and then his wife. Sure, I don't think you can really call it your wife if you're in an open relationship. So sorry, dude. Um, but yeah, you're married. But are you though? That's dumb. Um, anyways, it's stupid because he was laughing at it. I don't know if he maybe just didn't get the joke or what, but, um, yeah, he didn't. I don't know what that was about. It was, it was freaking weird. Um, and then he was like, fine with it, laughing. And then Jada was like, oh, you know, that's not funny. He doesn't think it's funny. And like, honestly, do I think it's like a funny joke? Not really. Is it something you should probably joke about? Probably not. I mean, a medical condition, like, unless you're, like, really good friends, then it's kind of cool, but I, it doesn't seem like they really are. So, yeah, I, uh, I definitely think it's stupid. I think it was dumb. I think it was a dumb joke. I don't think it was very well played off. So, yeah, I, uh, I don't know. I mean, Chris Rock, hats off for him for being professional with it, man. I mean, I can't imagine being in that situation. Oh my goodness, that'd be terrible. I don't know. I don't think you can get mad at somebody for making a joke about your wife when you're okay with people sleeping with your wife like if you think that that's appropriate like people can can't joke about your wife but they can sleep with her like again wife um yes technically they're married and the whole thing but i think it's stupid um like when you're married you're committed to that person and you don't get to just go out and sleep with whoever you want like that's not how that works and uh, so, yeah, that's that, it's, it's freaking stupid. Um, I think it's dumb. That's my opinion. It was so out of the blue. I mean, think about what, uh, oh, no, 
Gosh dang it. Think about what, like, Chris Rock was doing at that. And up we go. This is really tall. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm realizing this now. This is uh This is really tall. This is going to be so cool. Um Um So if it's 44 blocks around and I'm placing three at a time, what's 44 times three? Uh, 20, 120, 20, that's eight, plus another four, 132. 132. So it's taken just about two stacks to get around one time. Just over two stacks. I haven't gone too tall. Part of me kind of wants to jump down just to double check. Because you need to look at it from like way far back for it to like work. Right? Because the thing is, it's so big, you have to make it proportional. Right? Generally, I think the Oscars are stupid, um, and I think it's a waste of time. I think it's self-congratulatory on the part of the actors, and it's all just its so dumb. I don't get it at all. Um... And as far as people saying that they think that's fake, like the, what do you call it? That like the slap was fake. There's no way it was fake. Like, first of all, like Chris Rock isn't that good of an actor. And really like, why would Chris Rock stand there and get punched or get slapped in the face? Like talk about demeaning and like, because people are saying like, oh, they did it for the, um, they did it to get the views back up. I'm like, no way. That's just too far. You know, like that's just ridiculous. Yeah. Ricky Gervais. That's awesome. Get up here, accept your award, you know, and then get off. That was funny. Because people were, like, laughing because they're like, oh, we're supposed to be laughing, but, like, he's after us, so we don't know what to do. It's the most funny thing just to see them, like, so awkward.
Oh, it's hilarious. Are you sick? <laughs> oh, of course. All right. Now, what we need to do is come down right here. Um, I know. Seriously, three short? Are you kidding me? Um, now. Now, let's actually come over here and grab a boat. Kind of sail out, and then we can get an idea. Okay, we're going to sail. We need to sail quite a ways away, I feel like. Ah, oh, jeez. Stream's almost over. No. <laughs> that is one. Does it need to be taller? Or do we start putting leaves on it at that point? Because we want it to kind of look... We want it... We want it to look like the mega spruce trees. Um, That's what we want. Um, that is such... Just like a massive thing. Um, I'm thinking, yeah... And then we make the branches that come off. I think you're right. Um, let's check on this. Make sure that this is working. don't think this is working. Um, yeah, I don't think this is working. Ugh. I kind of want to just like AFK here um, and and uh, kind of just let this go. What are we on? 495. Maybe I AFK here for a bit and uh, kind of just let this go for a minute. I build myself up a little uh, dirt. Dirt box. Um, and AFK here for a minute. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay, so let's put this there. This can go here. And then... Now, I'm just going to AFK here. 
Um, hey, we're gonna AFK here for a minute. Uh, boom, boom. Well, actually, you know what? Sleep. Ah, uh, okay. So now I can just sit here AFK for a minute and uh, let it go. So let's see. We are on day 496. Oh, also, I was realizing. So I was watching. Um, let's see. Let me pull this up here. Ah. Wait, back the game. Um, so, how do I get this, um, uh, there you go, um, so I was realizing that, um, the new chess boats in a minecart can distribute to three items instead of just two uh, it can distribute to three th three hoppers if it goes over it on a rail. So our super smell. Well, but then how do you get fuel in there? Uh, yeah, because you wouldn't be able to get the items in. Never mind. My idea doesn't work. Um, because I'm trying to because I'm trying to think because we still want to build this super smelter here on the server or on this uh, on this world, right? And so I'm thinking the best way to go about it is maybe the, the chest boats are pretty cool um, because you, it's technically like can cover three blocks. Um, so it can fill up and drop out three blocks and there's not a speed limit on it. Uh, so that's kind of cool. It's uh, pretty slick. So I'm curious what um, or how we could use that to our advantage. So... I don't know. It's uh, there's lots of ideas with it. So, um, yeah, because it's. I mean, technically it would work, but I don't know. Um, oh. yeah, because I was watching. Who was it? Uh, Il Mango, I or Il Mango. Uh, he was doing something with it, where he had he put like 42 dispensers or something into a chest boat and you could fill a chest boat in like eight seconds so you could fill a regular chest in like eight seconds it's insane um so it's way cool so that you could like do that um but yeah i don't know it it, it would be interesting to see if that would work um, and exactly how that would work. So, I don't know. I'll have to keep playing with it and see um, what we can find. And uh, and kind of go from there. So, I don't know. Interesting. We'll, uh, we'll definitely have to see how it goes. Um, it'll be cool. But, yeah. I think. Um, yeah, so we need those sheep to be shearing which it sounds like they're doing um which is good uh you guys just can't see it because the little my face is in the way because the text is right here right at there right there in the corner um so yeah we gotta do that to get the wool so that we can spawn proof the castle and once we um, spawn proof the castle, we can start building out the interior. Um, once we finish building out the interior, then we can uh, move Polly and all the other polar bears in there. 
and uh, put Polly on the throne and do it all thing. And we can have a big ceremony. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but we can do that and get all that figured out and uh, get that ready to go. So, um, but yeah, it was. Uh, that's the idea. Uh, so, what I'm thinking is maybe I leave this going. Um, I leave this kind of like AFKing until I go to bed tonight. And then I can uh, turn it off and we'll have a little bit of, uh, what's it called? Wool for doing that. Because I think if we... Yeah, back up my world. Yeah, right? I mean, I shouldn't die. I'm in a box. I, there's no way... Um, there's no way to do that. And I do back up my world so that I can, like, offer it as a download as well. Um, so I do back it up so that I can have that. <sighs> so. Yeah. Um, I generally try to back it up after I finish streaming. No way we can. Well, I... I mean, I got the light source. I got the food. The only way I could do I guess I could starve to death. Unless, like, if I absolutely forget it. But the thing is, if I leave the monitor on, there's no way I'm going to go to sleep with the monitor on in the, in the room. So. So, yeah. Well, uh, I think that's... That's all we got. Um, let's see. All right. Well, uh, yeah. We're just going to let it go here for a minute. So... Uh, huge thanks to everybody for coming on by. Uh, C. White, thanks for being here on your birthday. I appreciate it. Happy birthday, dude. Um, uh, let's see. Who do we have? We had Grumps. Thanks for, uh, sub, or not subscribing, for following. Uh, it's, uh, it's good to have you here. And, uh, keeping the chat alive. And Alien Gathering, thanks for being here. Another TV viewer. Another TTV viewer, thank you for being here. Um, appreciate it, as always. Um, Erica Effenbar, F Effenbar, thanks for being here. Uh, Farming Girl, thank you. Uh, Ninatella, a Rogue 1RL, and Sayo Clubberville. Soy, soy, soy Clubberville. <laughs> what, how do you say it? Thanks for being here, guys. Appreciate it. Um, we will see y'all in the next one. We'll be here on Wednesday, uh, 8 to 10, Mountain Standard Time. So make sure to stop by. Hit the follow if you want to be notified when you're here um, and when we're going live. So thanks again to everybody, and we will see y'all later. Bye.